Today we're going to talk about pressure regulators, but let's remember that we have pipe that is basically male threads on the outside so that you can have a connection with a female thread. And the female threads are on the inside of the pipe. And that's where we inject the male threads. Now the pressure regulator looks something like this. This particular one is Senninger. And Senninger makes the best quality pressure regulator I know of. I don't work for the company, I don't make money, but I love the pressure regulator. The reason that this is so important is that it's, it's bolted together, it's heavy duty plastic, it's thick walls, it can take any amount of abuse. In fact, we're going to try driving over it and see what happens. Now the pressure regulator's got to come after the filter that we talked about before. And for two reasons. One, the filter has to have full house pressure, which usually is 60 pounds per square inch, so that we can turn this valve and flush dirt off the filter. Then we also need to have the pressure regulator in between this and the drip fittings because the drip irrigation fittings tend to blow apart after 40, 45 PSI pounds per square inch. So we want to keep those fittings below 45 pounds per square inch. So we have to have the pressure regulator attached to the filter. Now on the filter, there's always an arrow that tells you what direction to put the filter. And on the pressure regulator, there's always an arrow that tells you where to put the pressure. There are female iron pipe threads here at the other side of the pressure regulator, but all the fittings for drip irrigation are hose threads, so we need what's called a transition fitting. And the transition fitting has iron pipe threads at one point and on one side and male hose threads on the other. So we'll insert the iron pipe threads into the pressure regulator and that will allow us to attach the drip irrigation system after the pressure regulator. Now this is a PVC fitting, it's Schedule 40. It's pretty sturdy, but whenever there's an option to use metal, I say get the metal. It costs more, but it will really make a difference over the years in sturdiness. So in this case, it's a brass fitting that goes into the pressure regulator and has male hose threads for the drip system. This particular regulator is 30 PSI. It keeps the pressure below 30 pounds per square inch. So that means that the fittings on the drip system are, are keep intact and don't blow to smithereens. It also has a flow rate. This particular filter, I mean pressure rate, this particular pressure regulator will not work at one tenth or less gallons per minute and not more than eight gallons per minute, GPM, gallons per minute. So you need to know how many emitters are past the pressure regulator in your system and make sure there's enough that it falls within this range of one-tenth per minute to eight gallons per minute. 